Sometimes we love a note-taking app, but you can still find some friction. We are using it and from time to time we notice that there is something pulling us back. We move it to another app and we find friction again. We move it to another app and we find friction again. So in this video, I want to discuss a little bit where does this friction come from? Where does this feeling of the friction come from? And how can you find that in your own workflow to decide how you can go around it or maybe decide when to choose the app? So let's get started. I think the simplest example that I have is when we have an idea and we just want to capture, okay? I just want to note it down. What is this idea that just came to mind? Because if I don't write it down, it will just go away, okay? So I want to open an app and just write it down. So some apps will allow you to do that. With one click, you open an empty document, note, card, whatever it is, and just write everything that you have to think about down and then decide how you organize the things later, what to be the tag, the folder, the links, the properties or anything uh, that you give to that thing that you note down, okay? But some apps are different. And actually, if you don't use a note-taking app uh, as such, you always face that. In which folder will I create this document? What, which subfolder is structure? So before you even write down what you are thinking about, you need to be searching, okay, where would I put this document? So you need to classify or organize an idea before it was even born. And it's pretty much the case where like, I have something in mind, I want to note it down to not forget. And in the process of organizing, the idea is gone. We forgot the idea or we got distracted by a notification in our digital app or anything like that. I'm trying to implement that mindset to support that mindset but then the app itself is expecting a different mindset. In this case, I want a mindset that I call follow the flow mindset, where it's just express yourself as thoughts come to mind. Whereas an app may be expecting a mindset that I call organize first mindset. They say, tell me where you want to store this new document and then I allow to express your ideas. So that's where the idea of friction comes from. Like I want to support one type of mindset and the app is requesting me another type of mindset at that specific point in time. So let's think about a second example. Let's suppose I'm making sense of a lot of information and I want to look at different zoom levels. What do I mean by that? At a point in time, I want to be very focused on a single idea. I want to explain that idea understand it better, I want to really focus on it, okay? In another moment in time, I want to just have an overview. There are multiple ideas, I don't want to look at everything at the same time. I want to have a general perspective of it. How, what are the pieces, how do they connect to each other, which structure they create. So in some apps, they will not either allow us to do one or the other thing, okay? Uh, or they will have, uh, they will create a little bit of friction, okay? For example, if I want to zoom on an idea, I may just want to have one document with text format explaining that idea. I don't want multiple things popping up in the screen. I just want pure text that focus on what the idea is about, okay? Whereas when I want to have this overview, a higher picture uh, of how things interact, I may not want to have text at all, okay, because text may not be the best representation for that. So I want to have maybe post-its or a few cards in the screen, maybe have the links between them and see which structure they create. So sometimes you have two apps very similar to each other, same features as such, but one you find, wow, this is really good and this, oh, I'm finding some friction. It's because of that. They are usually supporting a mindset that is not the mindset that you're looking for. So at the moment that you start finding friction with your app of choice, stop for a moment, note it down. What is the mindset that you are trying to support and what is the app forcing you to do? Okay. And in this way, uh, you find most of the frictions that you're, uh, that you are facing every day. So I hope, uh, those thoughts may help you identify the friction that you are facing and solve that. 
And if you want to learn more or chat a little bit more about sense making, personal knowledge management and research, I see you in the next video.